and welcome back to At Home with the Tasting Spoon. Today we have a very special recipe that I'm about to show you that is so easy to make. You're never going to buy it store-bought again. Okay, so my favorite pasta is pasta alfredo. I don't know about you guys, but for me it's like the ultimate comfort dish. It's so delicious, so creamy, it fills you up and it like soothes and fills your soul. It's perfect for a cold day or rainy day or just maybe a bad day to fill you up and just make you happy and comfort you. So this sauce is so easy to make. The first time that I made it I was like wow I'm never going to buy store-bought Alfredo sauce again. It's so different, it's so tasty, it's so creamy. You can make it however you want. If you want it more light, if you want it extra creamy, it's super versatile. So I'm very excited to show you this recipe. So, two things I want to show you today is I am going to make the sauce with cream and butter. Now, the difference is that I like mine a little bit more creamy. So that's why I use heavy cream. However, if you like it a little bit more light and sauce, you can use half and half or regular milk. Now there's two ways to do the sauce. You can do it like I'm doing it today with butter, cream, and Parmesan cheese, or you can do it with a roux. Now with a roux, what you do is to take your butter, saute it in a pan with some flour, turn it into the roux, and then you're gonna add your cream and then your Parmesan cheese. Now for me, I like this one because it's a lighter option. It is not light as if you would use regular milk, but for me, the one with the flour, it's a little bit too heavy. I like my pasta a little bit lighter and saucy. So this is why I prefer this method. I'm so excited to show you guys. First thing is first, what pasta do you wanna use? Endless possibilities. I know that traditionally you use fettuccine, but you can use any type of pasta, including zucchini noodles, which I love. So if you want a healthier option, you can definitely do that. I sometimes mix it with my fettuccine just to add that double combo, or I sometimes just substitute it for a lighter meal. So definitely keep that in mind. Today, I'm just going to do the Alfredo sauce with fettuccine, and I'm hoping that you guys try this recipe because it's so, so good. Trust me, just taste that one time. Never going to do store-bought again. So let's get started. Alrighty, so first thing is first. I want to get my pot of boiling water starting to boil, and when you salt this water, it should taste like sea water, like super salty. You want that pasta to have flavor. If you have a bland pasta, it doesn't matter how tasty this is your sauce, it's going to taste bland. So you want that water to be like sea water, okay? So add a lot of salt. You can actually just taste it. But I like mine super salty because I want my pasta to have a lot of depth of flavor, okay? So, once my pasta water is boiling, I want to get started with the sauce. The sauce is gonna take the same amount of time as your pasta is cooking. So you want to get that in your mind. Pasta water boiling, pour in your, pour in your pasta, and then boom, start your sauce. So when your pasta is ready, you dump it in the sauce, flip it, boom, good to go. Water is boiling. I'm going to drop my pasta in. Give that a little stir. Boom, boom. And it usually takes about seven to eight minutes for that perfect al dente, okay? In the meantime, my pan is getting hot. So I'm going to start with my butter. I want to let all that butter melt, not burn. I want it to actually melt. This is going to be the base of our sauce. So remember that. 
This is exactly what we want. Melt that away, okay? We want all that buttery goodness. Okay, so now that we have that consistency, we are going to add in our garlic. Give that fragrance. Add in some salt. Just to wake up those flavors. Beautiful. Mmm, that smell. Amazing. Okay, lift that for about a minute so it actually absorbs all this flavor and you're gonna smell it. Like it just wakes up your senses. Right. Once we have that butter and that garlic saute, I am going to add my heavy cream. Now this is an important process right now. You wanna stir and stir and stir until this actually comes together. It's going to make like a little boil. And this is basically the base of our sauce, okay? So you wanna stir and stir and stir. Everything will come together shortly. I'm telling you, it soothes me just making this dish because I know that I'm about to have a wonderful lunch. And that makes me happy. So I don't know about you guys, but when I cook something that I know it's really, really good, it just gets me going, it gets me excited. I wanna like, oh my God, yes. Can't wait to dig in. So you see how slowly it comes in together? Patience takes time, but listen, it's going to be worth it. So this process is very important because you want your sauce not to break once you toss it with your pasta. So sometimes our sauce breaks and it's not as creamy as we wanted it to be. It's a little curdy. So we don't want that. So this is why this emulsification process is very, very important. Because remember that we're mixing fat here. So that's why it's important to stir. It's a little bit therapeutic, so. Because I want it to boil, but not boil like, for example, our water. It's boiling for our pasta difference over here because then your sauce will burn so if you go closely and look together you are going to actually see that your butter is incorporated because your sauce is completely whitish so you don't see those specks of butter So that is actually an indication that you're doing it correctly. I'm gonna stop for a second so you can see that it's actually boiling a little bit. So that's what you want. I'm going to season it now with some salt and some pepper. And I'm going to keep on mixing. So all those flavors and aromas come together. Now here for the seasonings, you can truly get creative. You can add literally whatever you need to, whatever you want. I add salt and pepper because that is just me, but some people add um, salt, pepper, garlic powder, they add in Italian seasoning, they add dry herbs, a bit of paprika or cayenne pepper. So it's definitely up to you and your liking. Totally get creative. So you see that it's thickening up. Perfection. You want that cream to actually reduce a little bit when it combines with your butter. Gorgeous, gorgeous. 
So once you see it, that it's starting to bubble up, but everything is combined, everything came together, you don't see that separation of cream and butter, this is when you add your beautiful Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese is the key here. Now, some people even add cream cheese to this to make it even creamier. I stick to tradition, I add my Parmesan cheese. You can add it grated, you can add it shredded, you can add it shaved. Listen, you can add it however you need to. You see this? Oh my God. So I'm gonna lower that heat to actually completely low. Gorgeous, look at that. Beautiful sauce right here. Alrighty, our pasta is ready. So now I'm literally just gonna toss it in my pasta, in my pasta sauce. Want a little bit of that pasta water this is why I'm not straining it completely using a pasta strainer see this my goodness this is gorgeous I'm just gonna leave it about a minute right here for the pasta to actually incorporate with my sauce just a minute on low heat I'm gonna add a little bit of more black pepper to it you hear that sound That's the sound of the perfect pasta to sauce ratio if you don't hear that sound once you're doing pasta, something is wrong. I'm telling you, you live for this ASMR sound. Just gonna add a little bit of more Parmesan cheese. and some green onions for color and that pop of flavor. Some people love to put parsley. For me, it's all about that green onion, I'm telling you. Bon appetit! Look at this beauty. Mm. So saucy, so creamy, so, so delicious. And you saw how fast we made this telling you why buy store-bought why okay let's dig in <clears throat> I can die happy right now this is just amazing that garlic pop that Parmesan cheese, that creamy, buttery, perfect al dente fettuccine, that pop of the green onion. I'm telling you, this is a winner, winner chicken dinner. I'm just telling you. It's so good. So good. So, so good. Okay. I'm about to say goodbye really fast because I am going to just devour this plate right now. Okay. I'm going to let this aside. So 
I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope it was interesting, that it was fun, that you learned something new. And don't forget to leave me any questions that you may have about this recipe or other recipes down in the comment box below. Or you can DM me through Instagram at the tasting spoon as well. I do there a little bit of semi-homemade meals, faster versions that you what you can see here. But you can follow me at the tasting spoon in Instagram as well. Shoot me a DM, shoot me a comment, whatever you need, I am here for you. So Please, please, please try this recipe. I'm telling you, it's the easiest homemade Alfredo you have ever have. You will never buy store-bought again. This is a dress to impress dinner or lunch meal. Do it vegetarian, do it with chicken, do it with a nice piece of steak, toss in some veggies, endless possibilities. But I'm off to lunch and I hope you stick around for my next episode. And until next with Alpha with the tasting spoon. Don't forget to follow and click that ding so you stay in the know for my next episode. You'll be the first ones to know once I post. Like, comment, and share to everyone. Family and friends are all invited to my channel. Now, 